Hey everyone, Shahabs here from Bearable Traders. Hope you're all doing great. Um, I'm just gonna go over my uh, trade from last week, Friday, uh, in DOCU, and share my thought process and planning execution, and risk management, trade management, and um, and uh, <coughs> excuse me. And the stop loss and how to set up my max stop loss and finding the windows opportunity from daily chart and 60 minute uh, chart. Um, so without further ado, um, DOCU was on the scanner and I got, uh, it got was interesting because it was gapping significantly after market uh, previous day. And I thought maybe we get another chance to run this um, uh, either downside or it's going to bounce back up um, significantly. Uh, so that's why I got interested. So um, and everything, and then the, as far as the volume, uh, ATR and uh, percentage gap. Met the criteria, so I got it. I got it on my. I got it on my watch, and um, so after that, I start looking at the daily chart to look for the pivot points, uh, see if the trade makes sense, keep it on my watch or not, and they start doing it. Uh, I start doing it by looking at um, the moving averages. I mark those moving averages, nine and twenties, and then uh, from there I just start be. Just start looking at the pivot points. The pivot point that, um, uh, like this is the pivot point that direction of the price changes, uh, goes from bottom to the high, and then from the high stops, and then goes from here to down. So that's uh, another pivot point of market, and then from here stops, and then change the direction to the upside, and I uh, make, mark this as a pivot point. So these pivot points are very important. Uh, for the uh, making the, for my for my targets uh, on the daily chart, and um, these are kind of a little bit of bigger time frame, um, but I also look at the 60 minutes and uh, see if the trade makes sense for um, <clears throat> for the if I want to hold it a little bit longer. Uh, let's say one hour, two hour, uh, if I'm interested in that the trade is going to uh, wash out or it's going to continue going up all day. Uh, so there's, there should be a potential uh, in order for me to kind of hold it for enough window of the opportunity that we can uh, uh, that we can uh, uh, manage or trade based upon uh, those windows of the opportunity. So that's why I kind of look at the 60 minutes for the uh, if I want to hold it longer. So like over here, if I come down, this is a, uh, this is on Friday, this is basing and the pre-market, and uh, this this pre-market is kind of holding it by this. Uh, moving average as well. So this to tell me this is a good support and also uh, kind of matches with this pivot point. So so I'm going to mark this 222 or 223 as a good support and if it's going to bounce off of this support and if not then this is going to be a good um, reference point for taking a short if it breaks down. So from here, and then I'm going to come look see for another pivot point. So another pivot point, it's right down here. Uh, this candle is about uh, the low of this candle, 215.51. So 215.51 up to this point, uh, 223.88. Uh, that's a good window. That's a good window opportunity if. If the price comes down here, breaks this level, holds it, confirms this level, so that means there's a potential from this level to this level, which is enough good window 
um, to take the trade. And um, and if and if it works out, then there is another uh, levels that I can find based on 60, uh, 60 minute and daily level as uh, other targets. So this is another pivot point. This is another pivot point. Now the other pivot point is uh, this this candle. This is another pivot point 209, and this is another pivot point. That's two, uh, 218. So, kind of mark them all, and uh, and uh, from here, uh, I would say the trade is uh, makes sense. The plan is makes sense. And looking at the five minutes, uh, just to make sure the five minutes window uh, for those levels make also makes sense and, and it's clear enough to me that makes sense so that's why I kept it um, on the list the on do, do you see you on the on the watch list uh, for the open to play it um, uh, opening range possibly uh, for short if not long uh, above uh, 200 moving average so after that uh, all that uh, kind of ideas I still watching the price action the pre-market price action so the pre-market pre price action kind of tells me a little bit of this story and I see here we hear you kind of basing here and kind of bouncing from this and making a uh, lower high I'm sorry, making a uh, higher lows and higher highs, and uh, and it may be able to break this um, uh, moving average and confirms it, holds above it, and then continue going back up to the high. That's not bad plan, but the good plan is also is if it breaks this level and holds below it, then I can take it short. That's the plan. I have it written down. I'm waiting for market open. The strategy: five minutes opening range. So the way five minutes opening range works for me is a different criteria. As as far as I have to wait, that first five minute candle has to print. I'm also watching the uh, one minute and two minute uh, chart. In one minute and two minute chart, what I'm looking for is a direction of the price action. I want to see the direction of the price action. It's the same way or same direction that uh, five uh, five minutes uh, candle is printing. Uh, for example, I want to see the one minute, two minute. They're making uh, lower low or lower high or higher high or lower high uh, that type of thing so in about like um, uh, shortly um, I'm just gonna demonstrate that or show it to you what's happening here and what what goes through my mind uh, during this uh, first five minutes I have to pause it right here uh, I can kind of go over this uh, so like I said in one minute and two minutes I'm looking for confirmation for the five minute opening range this is a good enough confirmation for me the price action is making a um, the price action is making a uh, higher lows and lower 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 lows Okay, and then uh, continuing down, basing it, uh, kind of like a little triangle. Same thing on the two minutes. Okay, so and also uh, I had these uh, levels on. Um, uh, I had these levels on two minutes, pivot points, the pre-market that uh, broken. 
and it didn't it did not really act as a support to take this uh, tray uh, for the long side which I was planning to um, for the long if it holds it they, they're probably going to bounce from these level but it didn't so it's kind of like going down and all the price action is below the moving average on one minute and two minutes so that's enough confirmation for me say hey this is if the next candle is coming down takes the low of the five minutes then it's definitely is a good five minute opening range to take it otherwise if this is going to be choppy up and down up and down swing high swing low and there's no pattern uh, whatsoever now not making a lower lows or higher uh, higher lows that tells me a different story tells me hey this may not be a good opening range may not be a solid a good opening range so may kind of be a little bit con uh, uh, kind of um, watch it out for five minute opening range also uh, the first five minute candle is what I'm looking for uh, besides um, one minute two minute um, I'm also looking at the ATR of the last six candle uh, to calculate my share size my stop loss and uh, and also the trade makes sense has enough room uh, didn't go above and beyond the a daily ATR and um, so I can take the trade so I have a tinkerstone chart over here that kind of helps me out to uh, make that uh, decision for me so this is the first five minute candles of the DOCU and this is the ATR uh, that shows me about 7.3 um, last six <clears throat> last six uh, last six candles. Okay, so based on that, I'll, I'm just gonna round it up to five dollars. I said well, my stuff's gonna be five dollars, and uh, that's gonna be my max of stuff. And then at the same time, we're looking at the range. The range is lower than the ATR, daily ATR, so that makes sense. So this is there is still enough room uh, to play with this. Okay, that's going to be my max stop, and enough room to make um, to make a, uh, to, to take this trade. And another stuff that I have is a technical stuff. If the next candle breaks the low of this, and uh, closes um, uh, let's say above my entry uh, right over here if it closes if the next candle opens up takes it and comes down and comes back and closes over here and the next candle um, the next candle uh, opens up and then takes this high of this candle uh, uh, trade is dead I'm going to take it out stop it out I'm not going to wait for to hit the max loss because at that point it takes this high and then trade is dead as long as it's not taking the high of this candle and it continues down down then the trade is still in, in place so that was how I set up with my uh, max stop loss helps me a lot to stay in the trade even though if it's going to swing high gives me enough room it gives me enough window not to uh, panic not to uh, worry about it because you have a defined max loss of in this case I have $100 Based on that, I can come up with the share size. For this trade, it's going to be like 20, 25, 25 shares. Because, and I have a max stop loss of $5. And I know I'm going to lose, uh, if I lose, I'm going to lose $100. That's it. So, 
and I'm not going to worry about about string high, string low. Um, I'm not going to worry about uh, getting it stopped out. If it's going to jump, if it's going to jump down, jump, jump back up. So I know for sure that I have enough room. Okay, enough of that. And uh, based on that, I'm just going to come up, set my share size, and let it run. And as soon as it gets down, I'll take it. Uh, take it right in. I'm in the trade. I'm watching. Um, I'm watching the price action. Um, see if it's going to hit my max loss or or it's going to continue but for some reason I got some uh, issue with the hotkey and I got stopped out okay uh, I got stopped out but I didn't panic and to stay focused and try to look for another opportunity to look uh, to get back in because the setup was so nice on one minute two minute and market was weak and going down and uh, every other stock was going down as well so I thought this might be a good um, short because Duke was uh, weak market is weak and everything is weak and everything was just going uh, down so I waited patiently uh, not to uh, lose my uh, thought and wait for another setup to get back in so it's very important to kind of stay calm and um, stick with your plan because the plan was still was to take it as a opening range and it still got the same the same opening range but a little bit higher a little bit lower but it's still uh, I was able to do it so that was that was a little bit of a um, uh, challenge I had to uh, deal with I, but after that I was looking for uh, to take a partial at the low of the pre-market but since the stock was super super weak and market was helping it I thought maybe I can just leave it uh, for for a better run and then I got to the, my first level here and I got my first first uh, kind of uh, partial at 215.42 uh, and, um, and the 15.42 was uh, uh, was was the area that showed enough uh, support that I thought it's gonna it's probably gonna uh, struggle a little bit here or it's gonna consolidate here uh, long enough and um, before it makes another move down to uh, next level or maybe it's gonna go back up test the VVAP and and then and then go back down so at that point I was just kind of ready um, thrown my orders uh, at my levels uh, just in case if because it was washing down uh, so quickly so I was just throwing throwing my orders out um, hopefully we can uh, get this order filled uh, if it washes down if it doesn't then uh, I'm just gonna uh, cancel it and then get out quickly if it, if it goes above this level that was that was the plan or that was what I was kind of watching the price action and kind of managing the managing the trade and um, because I had enough uh, I got I got a good move from here to here so I wasn't really worried about it uh, to, uh, to kind of uh, scale out quickly because I was in a driver's seat uh, I was in the control and I was patient and I could just uh, wait and just see what the price action is telling me and then just take it from there
Okay, so just going to speed it up a little bit. Uh, and I got my second target. And I got my, uh, I'm going to get my third target here. And at this point, I said, well, uh, I have enough, uh, I have some share left. And I think maybe this is, this is it because the spy was kind of um, uh, bottoming and trying to, so I thought maybe I can just get more share out at my last level target here and uh, leave the other two shares for uh, for the close and I don't care so I got the last uh, uh, my last uh, shares um, and then I left a couple shares in there for uh, possible uh, going further down uh, to the close if not I'm just gonna uh, take it uh, take it off if the trend is uh, broken. So at this point, um, I got pretty much 18 18 points move um, just by watching the price action, being patient and disciplined, and um, uh, uh, not to uh, jump and taking partial left and right and my plan was uh, uh, was my plan was kind of uh, ready to execute I had this plan so I just executed and um, from here I just going to speed it up and I noticed that this is uh, kind of uh, going back up and kind of broke this trend but I thought maybe um, maybe it's gonna reject the uh, maybe it's gonna reject the uh, VWAP and come back down and continue going down, but it did not um, it did not happen. So and uh, over here I think I missed it. So over here I thought you know what that's it I'm I'm done with this trade and I'm I'm all I'm all out. So. Uh, I don't. I don't really care what's going to happen from here because I got the. I got the. I got the need of the move from here, to here, and that was good enough. So um, I think that was it. So the planning and uh, good uh, proper stop loss and being patient and disciplined and executing the plan um, as you have it as I had it and um, uh, just stay calm and focus and plan and execute that so I was able to uh, make 18 points out of this out of this trade awesome trade with the less um, by I would say less um, Less share with the mini minimum risk. I mean, you could make three, three, four hundred easily. I mean, that's that's good. I think that's great. So hopefully this helps. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, let me know. And hope you find it useful and. Uh, till next time, uh, see you guys in the chat.